So guys, welcome to 108. This is the shuttle that we briefly got to use after so many politics, but we are not there. And when you get here, there's this nice foyer with some art and a nice chandelier. I'm sure you've seen this in my picture. And there's a nice reception area. I'm just gonna take you guys upstairs on the first floor where there's a number of rooms. In total, this property has eight rooms, including the one that we stayed in. <laughs> okay, so this is almost like a sitting area where you can just come here, enjoy a glass of wine or champagne, whichever best works for you and that's the kitchen area i don't think it's open as yet just gonna take you guys outside um, there's also a huge sitting area apparently you can actually make it part of the entire restaurant they can just open those uh <coughs> they can just open those doors over there and convert it into one thing i think that's pretty cool and there's this huge space over here well no chairs yet i'm sure they will put those in and the pool stunning big pool we actually didn't get to use it because it was not heated up why it wasn't i don't know and there is that other sitting area there's a fountain i'm not sure if it's yeah it's called a fountain and there's a tree house up there and a tennis court. We did get to play tennis. That's a one plus, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is just the tennis court. You can play tennis if you visit here with, I mean, if you're an active person like me, but this is the view from the side of the house absolutely stunning and as you can see at the top there that's where our room is it's the only room that has that size of the balcony the other ones do have but not as big as the main room i'm just going to take you guys um, inside so you can have a look at the rooms okay let's go inside um so i have to say the house is beautiful and clean and um, it has all the amenities that you will need to enjoy your stay um, the service just needs a little bit of a notch up but we'll get to that later okay so guys this is the room that we had to ourselves for the three night and as you can see the colors are perfect. Over there is my niece who I always travel with. The design is just stunning. Um, so this comes with an exclusive sitting area. I'm just gonna go back so you can have a, an entire view. So immediately when you get into the room, this is the entrance. You get the small bar fridge and it's fully stocked with iced tea. I actually this is the first time i'm seeing this brand it's so nice and of course where i am there has to be suela wine <laughs> um some fanta some liquid fruit and coke and obviously it comes with two bottles of water and two glasses i was just drinking the other bottle of water okay so there are supposed to be two coffee marks but it's only one and um, you get your coffee, your sugar, and some tea, tea bags. Yes. And this is the view from the side. This is the back side. And we also get a jacuzzi, which we're just waiting for to get warm. And then we will just be in there in a moment. And I am going to take you to the most important part 
of the room it has a second tv as you can see a huge double bed and we have a huge balcony with this view you can spot some uh, ducks down there down the dam and some beds so i'm told that this area is actually a bed century so if you are <sighs> if one of your hobbies involve bed watching you will definitely enjoy this property and from this balcony this is the entire area that you can get to see and it has these two gorgeous chairs you can have a glass of wine or just drink coffee in the morning and i'm going to take you to my favorite part of this room ah oh, are you guys ready for this i don't think you are an absolutely stunning bathroom it comes with a bathtub massage bathtub this huge shower and a toilet that has an automatic light ah did you see that <laughs> so this is what you also get okay let me just go back so you can see mm. It. and it has this gorgeous carpet that actually complements the colors in this um, bathroom if you look at the wall and the carpet you can see that there was some thought put into designing this place and we have a walk-in closet so much space <laughs> i don't think i'd ever have this much clothes to fill in this um closet it also comes with this huge mirror if you just want to dress and that's the space okay i decided to put my shoes there it's so huge guys and then it also comes with the small chair in the middle i'm not sure if it's called a chair but this you also get that this is the room that we are staying in i'll show you the other rooms in the morning Guys, this property comes with a sauna facility, and as you can see, it's already on. Um, we're just gonna spend 30 minutes in here waiting for the jacuzzi to warm up. And if you look on this side, you actually get the river view, and you have these two spa beds. Unfortunately, now they say that they don't have a masseuse yet. So we are not able to get the experience of the actual spa. So this is the best, the best <laughs> I can give you for now. But hopefully, when you do visit, they will have a receipt. Um, I'm just gonna step in. It's not so warm yet. Okay, let's get in there. Obviously, I'll take these off, but I look like because I've been drinking. So I'm just gonna put the glass outside because this is crystal, and if it gets too hot, it might explode in my hand, and we don't want that. I don't have a makeup aid anymore, so I can't be really reckless. Stop. Go. So, guys, I just got out of this. As you can see, so refreshing. And also at the same time, you know, what a weird concept. It's like you're steaming for COVID. And it's just a perfect change for each other. Okay, so now we're going to go into the bar. Look at me. I'm really picky with you too. We're going to go into the bar because it has like this fountain that can be set up and it's the most amazing experience. Oh my gosh, I feel so brand new. Oh gosh. So, so, so refreshed. Guys, so, as you can see, I'm in the jacuzzi, but it's very cold. Um, 
It has been on since morning, but it's still very cold. No, it's not the best experience at all. It's very cold. Um, after this, a hot shower is needed. Like, I really need to get into the shower. But um, yeah, if you get to stay in the room that I'm currently staying, you can get to have your own private jacuzzi. And as you saw, there's a view outside that I did show you. And if you're a great person, you get to you know, enjoy the view. There are some dogs, there are some different birds. But for now, I'm just gonna drink my problems. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just gonna drink my wine and enjoy the fun and hopefully the jacuzzi will be warm. Cheers! Just gonna take you guys to the rooms. We'll start with the rooms on this floor. There is room number one. Absolutely stunning. Victorian style. I love those headboards. I wish they were in my house. And it has this stunning view of the dam and a little balcony where you can just sit and enjoy the view with a cup of coffee or tea whichever you fancy it's actually spacious <laughs> okay so this room also comes with a bathroom of course a toilet a huge mirror and just the shower only, unfortunately. No bathtub. If you are a bathtub person, you will have to upgrade. So I'm going to say, assume rather, that this is the basic room. Oh, and also it comes with that dressing mirror. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Also the space, there's a safe, there's a gown. Okay, there's a safe, there's a gown, there's extra blankets. You can just put your stuff there. And also it comes with this huge uh, TV, which has access to Netflix, Joe Max, YouTube. We're just gonna go to the second room. Okay, so this is one of the rooms. It's also uh, like a Victorian style. And I did mention that this place is actually a bit century. So every room has um, its character. Um, I forgot the species of this bed. But yes, every color complements. Huge bed with a lot of space for your belongings. And there's a mini fridge over there. Just in and then you get your sugar um coffee and some tea bag water a standard kettle to make tea or coffee and there's this lamp that has a charging point on the side it's actually the first time i'm seeing something like this um yes the linen is clean and there's uh, room service uh there's um but again maintenance ladies that come to clean the place now and then and it comes with a stunning bathtub a mirror and a shower and just of course where would you do your number one and number two and it comes with fresh towels um as as to the view there isn't much of a view here but you get this small balcony you can just stand here and take a smoke or whatever take a private call yeah, I'll just take you to the other room. Okay. This one, oh, also Victorian style. And as you can see, it has its own character. They are, I don't know what these beds are called. <laughs> Jeez. So stunning. It also comes with this big TV. Um, that rest chair and also there's no view this side there's no balcony as well so <laughs> you get what you pay for I suppose and the bathroom has a bathtub and fresh towels and you get this 
standard mirror with a basin and a shower absolutely stunning also get a toilet of course and a mini bar fridge so the other thing that comes with this property is the bar um we actually didn't get to come this side because i think it was closed yesterday so there's this sitting area beautiful art right i think this door is also locked so i'm just gonna show you through the window <clears throat> Can just do some donuts here you know while enjoying the view of the dam and we are told that you can actually get to spot all those beds that are in each room by the dam so now we're just gonna head upstairs to the last rooms that are not occupied so there is this room stunning right Look at the basin. It also has a massage bathtub and a toilet, obviously. <laughs> a shower. I'm kind of realizing that it's actually almost the same size as ours. Maybe it just doesn't have a jacuzzi like the one that we slept in. And as you can see, it also has its own unique style. Standard features absolutely gorgeous and of course a view there's that view and the space absolutely gorgeous i'm just gonna take you to the last room the other rooms are occupied so i won't get i won't be able to get to show you guys but this is what you get over here. Oh, spacious, spacious. I love the space. Okay, you will get that, and that, and this chair, and this small um, balcony area. I won't go inside because there's absolutely nothing there. It's no like chair or whatever. So I'm just gonna give you guys that. Yeah, and that's it for me. Okay, so guys, I give you the good side of this place and you saw how beautiful it is. But what did I not enjoy? Where do I start? Okay, so we checked in on a Monday morning, no, on a Monday afternoon. And um, you know, everything was great. The, the chef was waiting to welcome us and um, there was wine of course and yeah everything went well the dinner was nice I found out I'm allergic to hazelnut by the way but that was sorted out because um, they prepared me another meal without um, hazelnut and um, the first thing that pissed me off was going into the shower on a Monday afternoon evening weather when it was very cold and there was no hot water and we alerted the staff they promised that they'll fix it and we had to wait and wait and wait until i decided you know what i will just boil water in a kettle and use the basin to take a bath yes that was minus one point for this property the second thing that also did not go so well was with the jacuzzi. So when we got to the property, the jacuzzi was not working at all. Like it was not working. It was just the, just decorating the place. And um, we were told that they'll fix it. Um, on Monday, it was not working when we arrived. On Tuesday, it was not working the entire day. They had to fix it. And um, I think it was only fixed by 12 o'clock in midday um, and it wasn't really warm even when we actually got to get into it it was just lukewarm you can imagine that on a cold morning and for me if i had paid to be there I, you guys know me i'm so impatient i would have just said you know what run me my money back i'm leaving the second thing there were so many issues with using the shuttle i just felt very you know disturbed you know 
traveled so long and I couldn't really use something as simple as a shuttle. Um, we're supposed to use it on uh, Tuesday morning to go to the mall and grab a couple of things so that we can um, use the tennis court. And we had to wait for so many hours and there was no actual explanation as to why we were waiting to just get in the shuttle and go for a drive for eight minutes. Not that I did mind using my own car, but I was told that there's a shuttle on the premises that you can use as a guest. So that also minus one point. So the other thing that um, really turned me off was that when we went to have breakfast in the morning, you would have room service come and clean, you know. And when you come back from breakfast, you come back to a clean place. But with this property, that wasn't the case. We actually had to stand around for them to try and clean after we had breakfast. That's really not an ideal situation for someone who pays to be there. So minus another point. That's why I'm saying that I'm giving them 7 out of 10. But I hope these are the things that they can fix. And when you go to stay over there, you will have a pleasant stay. But um, would I go back there again? Definitely. Um, do I think it's value for money? Yeah, absolutely. The property is beautiful. But those little things that you overlook, even when a person is not paying, they might cost you. Because now my audience will find out about my experience. And if they hold those things to be very important for their stay, they wouldn't come and stay. So I hope that they will rectify and, you know, make it a pleasant stay for you when you come. Okay, bye.